Hey everybody, I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes with my friend Ace. Well, that's really swell. We're really swell. What do you think about it? Hey, just, hey, let's just do a quick sound check. All right, quick sound check. Just to make sure. Kubada, itty body. Kubada bada. How's that? We're good. We're good. Yep. Hey, everybody. So behind me is a 10 by 30. What's it's wrong? The, the moon is still up there. The moon. Can you see it? Well, yeah. The moon is still out. Well, it's been almost full. Well, you know, Look last that. week was a full moon, and everybody's been commenting how big the moon's been. <clears throat> wow. Um, but this is a 10 by 30. It is for sale. All right. So we're going to show you the it inside. Just came back. It just come back. Uh, we we built this about four, five years ago, four years ago. Four. Four plus. Okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like. We just got it in. We haven't touched it. I'm going to show you what it looks like, uh, like the longevity of been out in the weather. Been wow. up in Indiana. It's been off grid. Had solar, compost toilet, wood stove, everything. 10 by 30 Craftsman. It is our biggest, baddest home we used to build. We still build these. We don't build as many. Retail price on this thing is $95,000. We're going to sell it for eighty. dollars And for those who may remember, it was the build for Sister Judith. Yeah, Sister Judith. We had yeah. videos of her up there. Mm -hmm. um, so her life has changed. So she had to get it, you know, sell it. Mm -hmm. We bought it back from her. We thought we'd turn it, try to get it gone. So it's $80,000. We'll put this on the top of the video. We're going to go through it. We're going to show you right now. So look at Billy. Look, look. I bet. <laughs> He's, <laughs> he's got a spider on his he's head. He's trying to get me to put my hand down in the box, and that spider's down in that box. He's got a spider this big. <laughs> now he's got it on his head, Seth. Did you see it? Don't video me. He's got, don't video he's me. He's like, don't video me. Billy's walking around with a spider on his head. All right, so we built this four plus years ago. Been out in the weather, just come back over the weekend. So let's just look at it. All right, just take a look, see what happens. We got metal on the top, metal on the bottom. Of course, this is our log siding. You can see this log siding. I, it's got a few, it needs some caulking inside some cracks, but the stain, she went ahead and stained this. We didn't stain it. This is some sap coming out of the knot holes, but it's okay. typical what happens with these, um, with the pine siding. But man, as you can see, you know, what can go bad on metal, right? I like these hooks. I'm not sure what she used for them. But those would be so useful. I wonder if she had like stuff. like Christmas lights or something. You uh, know? She could have. Yeah. Could have but we got awnings above the windows. Yes. All of her. I mean, all this is still nice and tight. The caulk is. It can. It can needs. It needs a little touching up. Yeah. This is a uh, range hood exhaust fan. Mm -hmm. The house has got full appliances. You'll see inside a refrigerator, a stove, so a wood stove. Yeah. Windows. It's got our old hoppers. It's got an air exchanger. It's got a tongue box. It's got a tankless water heater. This is still hooked up. Um, she even put a camera on the outside of this thing. Man. Outside lights, had a water catchment system on the outside. It's got a stove inside. That's what, it, no, what's this for? Is this for the stove? What's this for? Yeah, it's for water heater. Oh, water heater. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tankless water heater. Jeez. And that comes standard with our craftsman. But the, uh, and the tongue box comes standard with a craftsman, mm -hmm. you know. But the retail with appliances, some other things, I'm sure it's going to top $100,000, you know. Is that your uh, water catchment system? Yep, sure is. Yep, so it's a lean, so it's a lean to our shed to shed roof, so it's only one pitch to the roof. That's all. The, that's for the reason there's only one gutter. Yeah. Comes here, she had a big tank. I think the tank came with it. I think so. And you just put it right down in here, collect the water. You can use that as your water catchment instead of using city water. Um, it's got three big axles, eight lugs. This is a unique uh, home. We used to do a lot of them. This is called a reverse loft. Yes. So when you see the inside, I haven't seen one in a long time. And I walked in, this is 10 foot wide, and it's such a big area. All yeah. right. So let's go inside and look at the floor plan. Okay. Watch, Ace is going to be right in there. He's got to be all in it. What are you going to do? Huh? Say, I want to go. What are you going to tell everybody? Say, I want to go. Ready? Ready? There you go. Come on. All right. So inside wow. the house. Just take a look, Amanda. So instead of a range hood, there's a like a vent. What does she got? A 
I've not seen that yeah, before. Yeah, it's just an exhaust fan. An exhaust fan. Hmm. I've not seen that before. Huh. Yeah. Now, the appliances go with it. Yeah. Gas range, refrigerator, wood stove, compost oh toilet. My, there's so much to look at. All Hold right. on. Let me back up. Where do we want to start? Probably, oh my, probably the front door, the kitchen. Yeah. So, she had some adjustable shelving she put here. This is a mounted iron, this is like quarter inch steel plate. There's an air gap behind it. The stove's sitting on it. There's the she's, brand. And she's used it a bunch. You can see how it's been used. Oh yeah. Yep, so you know it works. Ceiling fan running, keep that heat down. So this is a source of heat. Also, there's a mini split. So this has got, this has got all the amenities, man. You can run the mini split. You can run this as supplemental heat. It's out of the way. There's nothing really you could do with this room. Put a cabinet here or something, but she had shelves under it yeah. and on the side. Uh, I remember doing it. Now the loft up there is a, is almost 10 foot wide by six foot. Mm -hmm. And it's got the finished hardwood floors in the loft, finished hardwood floors upstairs in the other living room yes. too, in a reverse loft. So, Man. now the inside has never been finished. So we do, the, everything's unfinished still. There's no urethane stain paint or anything on there. Countertops, I can't believe the countertops look as good as they do. I know. And she's not ever finished them. It's never been finished. There's no poly on there or anything. No. And now these are our old cabinets that we used to make. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But still look. Still soft clothes. Yeah. Still work great. Here's the doors we used to make, Amanda. Yeah. Everything is just like we do now. Isn't that awesome? And she's got a table. Yeah, now this table is built in place. It doesn't swing up or down. And like Which I think is fine. we were talking about that this morning, is thinking, you know what? That's just, and that's a nice place for a dining room table. Right she place. did her sewing machine mm -hmm. and her desk. And there's a hole, you guess, for your cords to come yeah. up for your computer. Mm -hmm. There's a cord um, plugs underneath it. I remember designing this for her. She wanted the two windows to come in yeah. on her desk and her table. So you've got one, two, three four, five windows just in the kitchen, just living room kind of area. And this is really not a living room. So it's really a kitchen, office, dining room. This whole area is just for kitchen and dining room area. And now everybody can see what you're talking about with the re reverse loft. So the reverse loft is a bedroom down, living room up. Amanda, look at all this room that you have here in this one room here. Then you still have a living room up here. Oh, now, yeah. Now, the bedroom, let me come inside. So, the bedroom, the bedroom. Let's see you go in. So, the bedroom's about 52 inches in headroom. Okay. You could have a king size bed in here. Not a problem whatsoever. That You've got an huge. egress. We have an egress window. You have a hopper window. And then she's got storage over here, too. Okay. Oh, my. So, underneath well, the stairs. Here. Yep. Underneath the stairs mm -hmm. is storage. We've got some puck lights in here. My God, there's plenty of room. I in mean, here. you can have a king size bed in here for sure. Not a problem. I mean, I haven't seen one in such a long time. I think I'd like this. Yeah. Well, I think it's a great idea. Because yeah. you know what? What I really like about it is I like the living room up the stairs. I just yeah. think that's a cute little yep. way to do that. Now, this has been in Indiana. Mm -hmm. So, this had some winters that she spent in here. Yeah. And as far as I know, she didn't tell me that they were lacking in heat, keeping it warm, cool, or anything. It's one of the reasons for her stove. Yeah, exactly. So this wow. is, so look, if I'm, if it's 10 foot, I mean, look how much space, you know, you, a full size, I mean, a king size bed is not a problem whatsoever. There's even room, Amanda, for a, a large screen TV. Mm -hmm. You could put a bookcase here, a lot of books, shelving, clothes, whatever you need to have on there. You know what? So this is 10 by... Let's see. It's got to be eight feet. Yeah. Isn't that cool, wow. buddy? Wow. Because you know what? In your bedroom, all you're going to do is sleep. sleep. So I, I'm not opposed to having it like this. That's box. why we came up with the reverse law. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that you just sleep in here, and then you have a living room. And just to bring up, the very first one that we did was a lady in Knoxville that came to the workshop, and yep. that was her daughter had a reverse loft because she was handicapped, yep. and it was easier for her to access the bedroom instead of, like she said at night, she would like to get up and go to the bathroom yeah. and stuff, so she had a reverse loft so she wouldn't fall coming down from the loft. Right, right. 
And that was a, a, a week-long workshop, so. It was. Mm -hmm. All right, so let, we'll go up the steps. And there's storage. Underneath the steps from the bedroom, there's storage. Mm -hmm. and this oh, is an ladder. old, look, this is the old ladders we used to use. Yes. I love it because see how light it is? It's super light. It's just aluminum ladder, and we can take it over there to access the loft. And a great place to hang it. It's not the way. I like these because they're just so light. You know, our wooden ones are probably prettier, but that is so much more functional. It's yeah. super lightweight, you know? So I like that there's a kind of like a privacy wall up there. Yep, and I think she added that after it was delivered. I think so, yeah. But let's go up to the living room. Okay. So. And you can see from here, you can see that going down. Yeah, the, the roof. shed roof, yep. Mm -hmm. So we've got as much, you know, head space as you can possibly get in a house. Mm -hmm. with the shed roof um how we can i, I wish you guys i hope you guys this can see how much room there is down here i don't want to move too fast and let you know but golly and this is the hardwood flooring that we used to put in this was the light color uh, i can't remember the name of it but so amanda think about light. it you can sleep two here yeah you can sleep That's big over there. two under there. Yep. You can sleep two up in the sleep loft. Sofa. Now think, if you have six people, mm -hmm. you can seat them up there in the living room. Mm -hmm. You've got enough space where two or three people can sit here and eat. Of course, you could have an overflow out room. here. There's just room to walk, mm -hmm. even if you're cooking and entertaining. The only thing that I think people would um, ask the question about is where do you sit, but it would be, that's your living room up there. Yeah. Um, if you did not have the stove, yeah. you could put like an oversized or maybe even a little little something there, like a little sofa You could, yep. Um, the stove table. could come out. Yeah, I'd like to have that stove myself. I know. Yeah, so if you want the stove, I'll take it. Um, Let's show the bathroom before we go upstairs. All right, so the bathroom, big closet. Now, oh, very big. And, and it hasn't been really, man. It hasn't been um, like ma maximized on storage space. Up here, you could put a bunch of shelves in here. She's oh, got wow. just a rack up here, right? Yeah. Now, where you're at is the washer and dryer, but yeah. compost toilet or regular toilet, you could put either or. Mm -hmm. Thirty-six inch shower and a half moon sink, and this is the one she had. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice little sink. I like how nice, it sticks out. I like out. this one way better. Than the ones we have? Mm-hmm. I don't, now, I would probably, with this big of a bathroom, I wouldn't care to have a sink like that. It sticks out a little bit more. Yeah. But you got room I for like it. That. And, of course, this is um, the wash and dryer. Wash and stackable dryer. wash and dryer. How big is the shower? Is it 30, 36. 36. That's what we used to put in all our homes is 36-inch mm -hmm. showers. And this is a really big bathroom. Yeah. Barn door. Nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does it work? Yeah, it's got a door handle on it. Okay. So this is over four years old. Yep. And she's never finished the inside, never did the inside whatsoever. And it still looks great. Yeah. Could you imagine painting this baby? I was gonna say, wow. wow. I wouldn't paint it. I, I would it's like Randy when he painted that house over oh, there. Oh, he said he never. Five did. coats. No. Mm -mm. All right. No. Let's go upstairs, Amanda. There's no way. Now this has got hardwood floors up in the living room. This looks like cedar. It is. It is. It's Beautiful. cedar. They did that after they got the house. All of it's hardwood floor through the whole house. Yeah, the other loft's hardwood. This is hardwood. The whole downstairs is hardwood wow. flooring. This is a great space. Now look, you could have a full sofa wrap around or sofa here, mm -hmm. entertainment center on that wall, a couple chairs. And you could windows. see. You could put four to six people up here. Of course you could. Yeah, we got our hoppers. I love these windows. Mm -hmm. Cross ventilation. There's Amanda, there's five windows up here in the living room. Totally. If you didn't need a bedroom, you I could wish, turn it into. I mean, a, a living room. You turn it into a bedroom. I wish I could keep it. Oh I know. Now I could live in this house. This is. Well, this is way more house than I would oh, even this need. Oh, so nice. Oh, look wow. the loft over there. Let's show. You can see that, and it is hardwood floors also. So our 8 by 16s Amanda, are less than half this size. Yes. And this is double. Wow. Wow. I like this. Lots of puck lights. Yeah. Like and it's lights. got dimmer. It's got dimmers on it, on the pucks. Mm -hmm. Yep, in the living room. Hey, buddy. So what's the price again? 
We're selling this for $80,000. Mm -hmm. With everything that's in it, right? Everything that's in it. You see it, this is it. We're not going to finish it, urethane wow. it or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, it goes with the appliances, the stove, the compost toilet, the cat water catchment system. And you've seen the outside. It's got a metal wood mix. It's already stained on the outside. Hardwood floors everywhere. Yep. You know, how many windows, man? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 windows. Wow. Yeah. And we used to put 14 windows, 14 to 15 windows on almost every house. Very nice. So there you have it, everybody. A 10 by 30 craftsman style home with an upstairs bedroom, upstairs living room, right? We call it a reverse loft for $80,000. If you're interested, give us a call at BR549. <laughs> Send an email to info or to sales uh, to let us know that you're interested in the home. And uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is either. I was just looking at that. I seen that a minute ago. I was like, oh. I wrote it in chalk. Yep. Yeah, give us a call. Give us an email if you're interested. We have a few people we think might be interested in this, so we'll be showing it off all this week. Yeah. And, um... I'm just, I'm just glad to bring back a home that we have done four plus years ago yes. and see how it's weathered. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, how we used to design homes. These were the big homes. This is all we used to build was Craftsman. Uh -huh. And it maximized the volume of a house. Yeah. So from, from the floor to up there is about 11 foot, two inches inside to inside. Wow. Yep. Um. Uh now this is a, that's a gas stove. Did we say that? It's a gas stove. Okay. Gaff, range stove. Yep. And mm -hmm. refrigerator. Hey, that fridge, the that's ice. A big old fridge. Well, the ice box is on the bottom. Okay. Very nice. Now I like that a lot. And it's it's got a drawer at the bottom. Let's show. Oh wow. Look at the inside. This is called a what brand is this? No. Uh, that says it's LG. A, that's a oh okay. It's an LG. Wow. Okay. Yeah, LG Smart Inverter Compressor 10-Year Warranty. There we go. Let's Look see. At that. Show that. Okay. And then the top of... Oh, and this is a GE stuff. Yep. If you all have been looking for a house to live in, this is a full home for you to live in. How fun to get to decorate and put your stuff in your plenty of room. All right. The bedroom is down on the main floor. All right? So, instead of walking upstairs to your bedroom... You have it on the main floor. I think that is such an attractive And it's not tiny feature. in there. It's not small. Oh, I mean, you could have a full closet. It, you could have a TV in there. You could have... Nice how the wheel wells. It's a full this bedroom. over that, so that hides that. So, bedroom, living room, mm -hmm. dining room table, full kitchen, entryway, wood stove, bathroom with the shower, storage, Stackable washer and dryer, compost toilet, vanity sink. Really, it's just a sink. It's not a vanity, right? And there's no washer and dryer that goes with it. No. No. Okay. You've got an extra loft up above us. Yeah. And it could sleep a good six people. Because there's lights. There's here's this that's in here. This goes to the chimney. Yeah, there's exterior lights, a chimney on the outside of the house. All that was in here. That's just stuff that comes with transport. it. But I think it'd be a great rental. On a rental program, you can. This is a house, a livable house. If this thing doesn't go, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this is crazy. This is a. I think it's gonna go pretty quick. But I know eighty thousand dollars is a lot of money. Believe this is. This would be a great. You can. Man, this would be a house and a half to to live in. Yeah. It'd be great. Really. I, live. I really like it. Oh, and A should have plenty of space. Beautiful. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's get. Never mind. Just forget the video. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. I'm serious. Forget I, it. It's not for sale. Yeah. I mean, for the price of wood now and what we have to do to build a home like this and yes. the time you have to wait to have a house this built, yeah. built like this, mm -hmm. this is like, what do you call it? Bygone years, bygone time. Yes, it's it's yes. like, wow. Everything in here has been, and the house has been lived in and tested, you know? Wow. It That's looks nice. great. Um, and I didn't know if we want to touch on that there is a house getting ready to leave. I didn't know if we want to go over the outside just to show it really 
quick. Sure. Because uh, he's getting ready to, he's going to pick it up after lunch. Let's do it. Today. Let's go look at another home real quick for you guys. And I'll do another swap of the outside just so you can see this. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there's the outside of it. It's got our gutters on it. It is... You know, that is a a type of solid stain. You know yeah. what? So, if you wanted to paint... Oh, I wouldn't think you could stain over it, but you could you probably paint over, paint over it. Yeah. yeah. The outside is weathered really well because you got the metal. See, and look at the big egress down here to crawl out of. You In your bedroom. Do. Everything has been well thought out, man. Everyone no, who built this. Kind of, to me, that's a nice safety What thing. company built this, Manda? <laughs> Anything happens wow. in the bed, you can crawl right out of it. That is awesome. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Love it. 10 by 30. I'm still in awe of it, man. I don't think and I'm not just saying I don't that. think I Randy's going to sell it. Hey, guys. Hey, Josh. I just know how much time and work it takes to build a house right. that big. I know. I mean, it's 10 by 30, you know. We got one in there right now going over 100 grand. I know. I know. This is a sickened stain that we just did. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Yeah, it is. Man, it just pops, doesn't it? Now, is this the one that Barry? This is Barry's house. Yep, okay. I'm sure yep. is. Yep. All right. Before you go, I want to show you this stucco real quick. Oh, wow. I can see. See the sun on it? Isn't that cool looking? That is cool looking. I love it. Oh, man. Beautiful. It's just exciting. All right, which one's leaving? Uh, the one uh, with the, well, it's Hollings. Everybody will remember he was the Yeah, we're putting the, the door on guy, it. And it's the one that's got the. Yeah, we're putting two doors on it. On the other, maybe they on might the other stage side. it over here. Hey, Amanda, what's this big yellow thing over here? <laughs> I was going to ask that. We're getting ready to set some trusses. I know it's been a long time coming. Everybody's been uh, really nice. And I've actually, people have sent some money in to pay for a truss or two. And it's been great. And we're going to hang their name and stuff on it. But this is that a is really cool. huge extended forklift. Wow, look at that thing. Big sucker, man. That so thing looks cool. We've got it for a week. Cost us a couple grand to rent it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to we're gonna pull all of our electrical in the prairie with it. We're also going to set our big, huge 60 by 30 big trusses we're for our extension. We're going to show you how we do it. So we can kind of, we'll video some. Uh, let me show that house, the 10 by 30. Isn't that something? Angle. Yeah. I want to keep it. Yeah, I think we should. Honestly, for this video, it's not for forget it. It ain't for sale. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, it's it can it's last. A that's house. a home to last it really forever. Is. Um, I don't see Hollings. Maybe they've already pulled it down to the. Hey, Seth, where's Hollings' house at? They've already. I, have no idea. I, I think they took it. It's the. It's gone. I mean, I don't see it here. Well, they're going to install two doors today. They got a double. You know what we ought to do is another video at the end of the day. I bet it was before, pulled inside. Before it leaves, because we got to install Let's do that. a double, it's a double Dutch French door and another French, uh, a Dutch door. So there's like okay. three French doors. Let's do that. Or three Dutch doors being installed in it, you okay, know. Okay, let's do that and we'll do another video. All right, uh, video everybody later. have a great day. We'll come back, maybe give you another video later on in the day. Look at that house. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes. It's a 10 by 30, $80,000 reverse loft living room upstairs. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you.